Well, here we are in the Rockies. I think it's Highway 34. Next to this big boulder in the creek, which is making a lot of noise. But this is a 2023 Nissan Armada La Platinum. It's like the most luxury line in the Nissan Armada line. It's got that good chiseled look. It has the 5.6 V8 and then seven speed automatic. Seven passenger luxury captain's chairs inside. Really rides nice, it's a smooth ride, and it's got a lot of power. We pulled trade with it the other day, 8,000 pounds, did very well. But this is today's project, it's awesome. Now this is a 400 horsepower, 413 pound feet of torque. So come along with us for the review. Okay, there's those 22 inch wheels, look at them. Small side walls, but they're gorgeous wheels. Full running boards, and actually the mirror size is pretty nice. I can see around my trailer with it, so I thought that would work. Nice little luggage rack on top, inside. Of course, power seats on both sides. Now there's that push-off brake, not brake control, the push-off emergency brake, parking brake, instead of being an e-brake. So this is kind of old-fashioned. Of course, you got heated steering wheel and all that. Let's see. Big 12.3 inch screen. Let me fire this puppy up. Seven, seven speed. Small moonroof, just a baby one. Hey, yeah, look, it's a pretty nice big wide dash. All the analog things here. Now, what's cool down here is that's where you charge your, your phone. It goes in there, you got 12 volt. That's pretty cool. And then it shows you if it's charging or not. Yeah, and it shows you down here, this button too, that it's charging. Of course, USB ports. There's a brake controller. It's in a good spot. You can adjust your gain. And then do the uh, manual brake controller if you're in a situation where you need to do that quick stop without touching your foot brake on for the trucks. Just use the trailer brake. Now, let's see. There's the normal dash cluster. Let's see if it wants to show me a lot of stuff. Some of these show you everything. Okay, here's the other modem than the, the modes which is auto four high so i've got a two a four low tow haul mode there's a sway control and there's snow mode I like the quilted parts in the door too it looks pretty awesome along with the quilt and the seats so it's you know it speaks luxury all over and there's that open pour wood see that goes all the way around the trim it's on the door to where you charge your phone let's see up here what it'll tell me if I go snow. Let's say snow. There we go. It's trying to do something. Well, I guess that's snow mode. Little tiny button. There's sway control. Doesn't want to tell you anything, but if I hit tow haul mode, you can see that green spot way down there. It's hard to see. Of course, I need a four. I got a four drive auto. But yeah, that's those gauges. Then you can rotate them around. And there's your four-wheel drive high. Let me zoom in a little bit on that. Four-wheel drive high. And go back one. There's a four-wheel drive auto and four-wheel drive low. You gotta put it in neutral. Like that. Power tilt and telescope. Where is it? There it is. Power tilt and telescope. This knob here, which is cool, has a camera button. So you go up there and you can see that's the front camera. You put it in reverse. You'll see the back. I think I did show that when I hooked up the trailer. There's that, and we go change view. There's a button here to shut off the beeper so you can back up without it locking up on you. You got a view on the side, there's a rear. Yeah, and there's a C60 degree picture. And that's the side, so you can get real close to those drive ups. Now, plenty of cup holders, big glove box. Now, let me rotate this control here because you can see this control here. It's got a knob, it's got a back to home, auto menu, and the map of voice, which is cool. The home, uh, where is it? Hit the home menu and see what that does. There you go, there's the, there's the home menu. Shows you all your options. Playing with the phone, then there's the map of voice, there's your map, that's cool. 
Then once you get on the map, you can rotate the dial and it'll zoom in, which is awesome. Do all these other things. Yeah, yeah, it rotates it around. It's awesome. Now, let's go look at some of the other things on the outside. Oh, yeah, I'm going to show you the, the uh, center console. And it's big. It's got a tray. It's got this notch, I guess. Well, that's, my, that's one of my cameras. There's a notch in there that I think is for a USB port. And that's that one. Let me show you the back one. Now here's the back row and a center console. Now let me just show you something here. This is the front console between the front seats. Look at that. It opens up and you can get little places to store stuff when you're back here. And of course back here, it's got all kinds of little cubby holes, places of more cup holders, and more places. Oh yeah. Big console. And that's where you got your wireless headphones to go with these monitors on the back of each headrest. Which is cool. Now, big thick cushion seats. There's a handle up here. You push that, you pull that, and it double folds. And that's cool. So you can get back to that back row. And let me show you what's all in that back row, besides all my junk and my cameras, cup holders. And I'll show you how to fold those down. Don't go away, Mr. Chuck.tv. We'll be right back. <laughs> Back side of the front console, you got heated and cooled seats for both sides, and you got all of this in the middle for checking out your temperature and what if you want to blow high or blow low or up or down. That's pretty cool. You've got all the different modes for where you want the air to flow. I like this. This is luxury. This is what the back of the second row seat gets. In my Walmart bag, you got to have all that. This is right behind the second row. This is the third row seat folded down. Lots of room. Camera bag and all my stuff. I'll show you what that looks like. Ways to open this back hatch. You've got the hatch up on the front of the truck by the steering wheel. You push that button, or you can come back here and sometimes you can push this button and it will open it up. Lately, I've had to use the remote. So take the remote and you hold it down on the button and then it magically opens. Now you got room behind the third row for more stuff. You can actually put small people, short people in the third row. Nothing against them. And then here on the floor, you push this, pull this up, and you got a place, I guess that's where the license plate tray was. You got a few places for tools and such. This has a full size spare underneath. And then looky looky, you got buttons. You push the right one, Oh, it's still, and it reclines. That's the reclining seat I was talking about, which is so cool. And then if you go the other way, like this one, it folds forward, which is what most of these big SUVs do now. And you got cup holders, you see a place there where you can do some folding to and buttons on the side. And then this one here, the right one, can do the same thing. Either fold it a little bit to give you adjustable back, or you lay it down flat which is cool. I think this is a well thought out SUV. Okay, I'm gonna close the hatch. I can even lock it from back there. There's a button to lock it. But, pretty cool. Okay, there's your power, the 5.6, 400 horsepower, 413 torque, all covered in plastic. Big air box, big battery. It's awesome. It's got struts on the hood like they should all have. This, uh, I'll, I'll look up the uh, color of this. It's like a burgundy, but it says on here they charge you extra for the color, but it doesn't say on here what color it is. Huh.
Well, there's a fuel economy pulling uh, 8,000 pounds is 9.4. That's up and down the hills, flat ground, city, country, highway. So it's a combination is 9.4 with this trailer, which, you know, it's about, I would say, average for a V8 gas engine. You know, I think that works. Well, there you go, backup camera. I've already hooked it up, but you can see lines that it has and how you know, close to I guess the central part of the trailer hitch is and your red dots and it shows you most everything now it has several views this one here shows you 360 on the truck itself in the same picture there and then there shows you what's going on the side of your vehicle so how close you are to building sometimes that's important when you're backing up Yep, that's the whole thing. So the cameras are good for backing up. I like them. Now, there's the safety chain hoop. And it's plenty big. It's in good place you on your knees to hook up the safety chains. That's good. The plug-in's in a great place for your trailer plug. Well, I like the way it's set up. There's a digital mirror. Isn't that cool? You put that up there and see my camera doesn't even get in the way of it. And you're looking out the camera on the tailgate. So let me flip it up. There, see now everything's in the way. The back seat, my camera, the back glass. So yeah, this is how it works. It's awesome. Everybody's going to that. I like the digital camera. Trailer part of this review for the 2023 Nissan Armada Platinum. And we're pulling. 8,000 pounds. This is rated 8,500 pounds. We got a 5,000 pound tilt trailer and a 3,000 pound Jeep. So we're going across really rough, washboardy gravel roads. This has got that rear air suspension. It's a pretty slow suspension. It finally got up there. Level this out. Of course, I'll show you using the Gen Y hitch with weight distributing hitch. It's an adjustable hitch that I use all the time. So they're all setting up pretty well balanced and leveled out. You can just feel this rumbling across this washboard road. Everybody drives too fast to maintain or no, I maintain or they drag it. And they drive too fast and at least bumps. So you can feel it all and you can just <laughs> it's not this first mile out of my place is not much fun. It's always tore up and then it rains and leaves big holes. Yeah. And I want to test this out. This is that 5.6 400 horsepower V8 and a seven speed transmission, of course, automatic. And I'm going to test it on the hills between here and Greeley. We're out here in the sand hills, and that's what they are They're big hills up and down and up and down. And it really tells you what an engine can do if you know you're running out of power going up the hill, and of course, you're coasting down the hill. But this will give us a little bit of a of a sense of how it handles. I'm going to be able to make a mountain trip today. That will come later. Yeah, we've got all this snow. I just set the game. So glad this is a factory brake controller. You got to sit on five. Maybe barely enough. I don't want to lock up the tires. Let's see. Maybe I'll go to five and a half and see what we can see of course got to get the mail I'm out in the country they don't bring it to you you gotta go fetch it so that's what I'm doing I'm risking my life to walk across the two-lane highway with all these semis just to get the mail parking brake is now I'm up on the highway so I'm get hit by a semi right where we live right where our mailboxes are it's a two-lane road which means you're wait forever you used to walk across the road then you go up you know a couple miles either way and you're four lane but somehow they skipped us and this is a very high traffic road but now we're going to be on the sand hills roly poly this is highway 34 connects from Morgan to Greeley and 
<coughs> not quite capacity. That's 8,500. We're pulling 8,000. So I'm going to see how this does up and down all these hills. There's a lot of hills between us and Greeley. Speed limit here is 65. And I think I figure out how to run all these controls. Do, 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 do. Push more. right quick there but that's good that's what you want it to do it wants to adjust all of itself keep the rpm band in the power band and that's where we're at we're at 4100 rpms crest in the hill and then go back down the hill and it should great shift down there we go 3000 rpm 2000 rpm that's good didn't touch the brakes doing that all on its own it senses that there's more motion in the tires are rolling faster so it tries to control all that jumped up to 4,000 just to climb this little hill but that's what I'm saying out here in the sand hills where it's all deep deep sand it's just total rolling hills you know to me this is better than climbing mountains because those are straight grades for a long ways this is you know about every half mile you got a grade to climb and drop off oh look at that state patrol keeping me safe that's so nice now let's see Jump into 3,000, climbing this hill, jump to 4, boy, he doesn't stay at 3,000 long at all. Jumps right to 4,000 RPMs to crest this hill. So it's doing what it's supposed to do. It's trying to maintain speed, and I go crazy in RPMs, and downshift when it needs to, slowing you down, upshift when you're over the hill. You're down to 1,600 RPM, the bottom of this hill. when I climb this hill, which is good. Back to 29, whoop, right to 41, right there, 41 RPMs. Yeah, this normally the vehicle drives you nuts because you're constantly having to give it more gas or less gas, but it's got the cruise control, it's working really well. This is a big V8, 400 horsepower. Somewhere I wrote down much torque, and it's 413 torque. I knew what I was talking about. Yep, 413 torque. So it's got good torque. It says no problem towing 8,000 pounds. I don't think it can have much problem towing 8,500 pounds. So anyway, that's what it's like out here in the sand hills where all the cows and cowboys and oil wells are. And the Platte River's right there. Which is a really nice place to be because everybody out here has a truck and the semis and the flatbeds and the hot shots. A lot of hot shots and 110 dualies with 40 foot beds and all the oil business out here. My guess between here and 25 miles of Greeley, there is about every at least five miles there's a new well. You're just punching holes everywhere. They don't just punch one hole wherever they sit, they sit there and punch bunches of them. You see sometimes eight of those iron horses in the same spot. Anyway, about 4100 RPM. A lot of antelope out here, a lot of bald eagles out here. We've got bobcats, we film those at night. Pretty cool, it's interesting stuff. And it's fun to cruise. She drives through down to about almost 
15, 1600 RPM around the flats, which is really nice doing this much weight, but it doesn't pull it down much further than that. touch my brake and it's maintained pretty close to what it said at 66 miles an hour the adaptive cruise control with the trailer jump to 4100 rpms as we crest this hill <laughs> I'm trying driving you guys nuts but I don't need to hear the play-by-play -play of every single cut and picking hill I go over but anyway you get an idea of just of how this stuff works Up to 4100, crested that hill. I know it's going to go clear down to at least 2000 bottom. Jump to three. Oh, no, the hill's too close. Holding at 2800 RPM. Wow, that one we crested the hill at 2800. That's pretty good. That's torque monster. This is really a luxury automobile. It's, of course, a big SUV. It holds seven. Captain's chairs. I love captain's chairs. So many people I can get in here. And it's got open pour wood, so it's you know it's real similar to the the uh, cousin in Infinity. And that cousin is a QX80, basically the same vehicle with a few more niceties. So the little moonroof. We're going to drive it probably 500 miles this weekend. See what I know about it. I just I thought I'd do the test drive in the trailers first. Then we'll take it to the mountains. Now we're up to 41. You just know the grade is getting up there over 7% when it does that. 5R or whatever it is. Holy cow! That guy was throwing rocks. That semi was just sweeping them right off the road and at us. Well, <laughs> Yes, here in this 2023 Nissan Armada Platinum, I'm up in the Rocky Mountain National Park by Estes. Beautiful scenery up here. Testing us out. We've done some things with the trailers, and now we're out checking out the curvy roads on, what is this, Highway 34? But yeah, it's fun up here. Beautiful scenery. Everybody else is up here, too. It's a Sunday, and everybody wants to see the mountains. Now the snow's about gone on the lower elevations and the rivers are running wild, a lot of white water, the big Thompson, all that stuff. But yes, this is seven passenger. It's a big puppy. It's body on frame, you know, all things I like. A V8, a 5.6 V8, seven speed automatic. And this is a luxury automobile. It's got uh, the four captain's chairs and they're quilted, look gorgeous, big consoles. I'll show you all those things. But it's such a smooth ride. It's, it's air ride on the back. It actually is the slowest air ride on the back. It takes a long time, you know, when you hook up, the air's up, and then it kind of stays in that area, which helps level you out with the trailer. And we're towing, we were towing, I think, five, 8,000 pounds the other day with it, with a weight distributing hitch and all that stuff. But yeah, it's it's uh, it's also very powerful. You kick this thing and you give it wide open throttle and it scoots. Great acceleration, which is you know what you want on a V8. Of course, it doesn't have a turbo. That's kind of how the V8s are right now. But yeah, the trees are budding out. It's gorgeous up here. A lot of traffic. Yeah, I might look at a couple of notes. It is 400 horsepower and 413 torque. shows it but the max towing on this is about 8,500 pounds and the payload looks like it's 1511 does have brake control which is nice it's got tow haul mode all things you need to tow safely and uh, yeah looks like it's curb weight 6034 on this but yeah beautiful up here I love living in Colorado and getting up in the Rockies. Great scenery. Love watching the white water, the rapids run through the creeks because it's coming down pretty fast since it's so warm. Been warming up good. The snowpack's coming down. This is set to have 
uh, the high end, 18 miles per gallon by the EPA, and that's highway. Oh, there is a bicycle ahead. I gotta move out of the way. Anyway, um, I was getting 19 and 20 on the flat ground, so I was getting a little better than that. You know, with the trailer, I don't have to look that up. I did write that down what it was doing with the trailer, but uh, it was, I'll give that to you when I can find the notes. Heavy traffic up here, 34. But, of course, you can manually shift this seven speed or do the, let it have its thing. It's really Q, Q, close to the QX80 Infinity. It may have just a few more features, but this is a loaded Armada. And they're basically the same platform, engine, transmission. So, this is probably a little better value than what the Infinities are because they are the super luxury models. get up here where I can get outside, set up a tripod and give you guys an open about this wonderful, wonderful automobile. 8,500 pound trailer capacity would get you up there to a you know, good sized boat. A lot of your two axle camper trailers, RV trailers would fit that category. You know, and you know, just like me, I was hauling a car trader with it. And we had 5,000 pound Jeep on there. So, you know, that's what you can also tow with is a car trader with the right size payload. LED lights. It's got the nose and this is a chiseled look, which I like. Quilted seat, fully independent suspension. And let's see, it's a seven inch meter display in the middle behind your steering wheel. 13 Bose speakers is 73,320. That's the MSRP of it. Yeah, pretty cool.